Welcome back. We're still waiting for names, by the way, on our little elf on the shelf. But moving and on. It's not going to be Newt. No, 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 Newt. No to Newt. Republican presidential hopeful Newt Gingrich has been surging in the polls, as you know, and he seems to have a pretty strong Tea Party support. Uh, a recent Gallup poll, as you can see there, shows 82% of Tea Party voters choose Mr. Gingrich over Mr. Romney and Michelle Bachman as the nominee. But a new op-ed says a Newt Gingrich candidacy would doom the Tea Party. Joining us now is Jenny Beth Martin. She's the national coordinator and co-founder of Tea Party Patriots. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, good to have you. Let me read you this. Tea Partiers pledged that if they had their way, the GOP would never again have as its champion a federal government enlarging, entitlement expanding, amnesty urging, Bush-style Republican to do just four years on would be a significant failure. I could go on and on because Rand Paul wrote in the Des Moines Register that Newt Gingrich would essentially represent a failure of the Tea Party. Would Gingrich or Romney represent a move backward or a failure for the Tea Party? Well, the one thing that the Tea Party has been in favor of the entire time is, well, three things, fiscal responsibility, constitutionally limited government, and free markets. And as we evolved in the movement, we realized how much the ruling elite caused problems. So right now, there are So is Newt Gingrich a part sides. of that problem? Was he a part of that problem, or was he in line with your principles? Well, certainly in the past, he's been part of the problem, and he was in line with what President Bush, a lot of the policies we have trouble with that President Bush was in favor of. On the other side, he is saying that he will return fiscal responsibility to our government, and he is the only one who's running who actually has a track record of balancing the federal budget. Well, let me tell you this. You know, we had Dick Morris uh, on set the other day, and he was saying, with regard to Newt Gingrich, that he has... Over the years, you know, he, he sort of left and then he came back a different man, a changed man. You know, yeah. you might want to call it matured or seasoned or whatever uh, the term is. But the Gingrich that he is today is a guy that could be uh, representative of the Tea Party. Do you agree with that or not? Well, I, I think that if he gets elected, then we'll see whether he actually follows through on what he, what he says or not. But we, no vote has been cashed yet, so I still think it's a little bit too early to say who the Tea Party nominee is. Right. It's just interesting when you've got front runners that supported the bailouts, that have supported the universal mandate in health care. We want to move on and get your take on something Hank Johnson, a Republican, a Democrat, excuse me, Georgia a uh, congressman, who, what he's saying about the Fast and Furious scandal. He said, quote, I think this is another manufactured controversy by the Second Amendment NRA Republican Tea Party movement. What do you think about that? I, well, in a word, ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous to think that ordinary citizens have any influence on, uh, the, on shipping guns through the ATF to drug cartels. It's absolutely crazy. And it's not something we ever even would have thought of. We're concerned about fiscal responsibility. Um, Got to ask you, there, there has been some criticism of the Tea Party. It's sort of a waning movement. Um, you would probably disagree with that, would you? I absolutely disagree. I've been all over the country in the last in the last six weeks. I've been to 15 different states, and the movement is growing. It's growing tremendously. In the past year, we've really been focusing on education and preparing for next year and learning more about the political system. What do you, what so do you think the biggest people... accomplishment of the Tea Party has been over the last three years? I think the biggest accomplishment is that we've woken up so many Americans and we're changing the dialogue in Washington, D.C. The next biggest accomplishment will be to actually get cuts in spending. Mm -hmm. We haven't done that yet, but we're working on it. You certainly have changed the conversation in Washington. Jenny Beth Martin from Tea Party Patriots, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All righty.